Hey friends, welcome to another edition of Fit in 15. Today we have a mobility workout that's really, really going to improve your overall flexibility, your range of motion in your joints, and it's going to challenge your core a little bit because we're gonna be working unilaterally, one side at a time, okay? All you need today is your mat. Like literally, that's it, just your mat <laughs> and your body. You could do this barefoot, you could use it, do this workout with shoes, whatever you want, you're right. We're gonna go ahead and start with our two minute timer, okay? Start at the end of your mat, take a deep breath, inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, fold your body in half and you're gonna walk your hands out towards the front of your mat. Take a deep breath here, walk it back. Roll it up, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold the body in half. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, hold your plank, and then roll, walk it back, and then roll it up. Inhale, this time reach up for the ceiling, and exhale, have a seat in a little chair here. Okay, so yeah, it kind of looks like yoga moves. If you've never done a Fit 15 workout with me before, we're gonna do 10 exercises for one minute apiece. So let's do three more of these yoga chairs. Two, one, and then take one leg, draw a big circle, and then lunge it out to the side, opening up that hip. Lateral lunge, take it down to the floor, Four more. Three more. Two. And then the last one. Leave your legs really wide. Roll it down to the floor. Bend your knees. Give yourself a flat back. Reach out. Reach back. Reach out. And then fold your body. So bend your knees. Create a flat back. Kind of feels like you're doing the breaststroke. Flat back. Reach your arms forward. Reach them back and then down to the floor, okay? It's waking up our legs, our hip flexors, our upper back, our lower back, and the muscles around your shoulder joint, which all of that we are going to use today, okay? Let's do one more. Bend your knees, flatten your back, swim your arms back, fold, and then roll it up nice and slow. First exercise. Make sure there's nothing behind you. We're gonna do one side at a time. Taking it back to a curtsy, out to a side lunge, and then draw a circle with your hip, okay? So it's part of that warm-up move that we did. So pick a leg, curtsy, side lunge, hip circle. Curtsy, side lunge, hip circle. So is balance involved? Yes. So if you need to be close to something to hold on to, then you're gonna do that. We're all moving at our own pace. We're going for a minute. Now, if you really wanna challenge yourself, take your time on that hip circle. Take your time on the lunges. As far as your arms go, you do whatever you need with your arms to maintain your balance and to have good form. All right, one side done, got to the other. So, cross lunge, lateral lunge, hip circle, ready? One minute, non-stop, let's go. Cross lunge, lateral lunge, hip circle. Cross lunge, lateral lunge, circle. Take it back to the side, big circle. The music that I have playing is just background noise. If you need to match something, match your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale and put it down. Going slow is hard, I know. All right, we've got less than 10 seconds here. Almost lost that one. All right. Next one's gonna 
take us down to the floor. For a wide leg, forward fold with a rotation, then you're gonna put your hands down and kick that leg through. We're gonna do one side at a time. So, rotate, hands down, kick through. Rotate, hands down, kick through. Rotate, hands. Straight legs, well, as straight as you can get them. If you need to put some, something underneath that hand that's on the floor to help your fold, maybe you have a yoga block at home or a stack of books, that works too. All right, friends, keep it going. And then we gotta switch to the other side. All right, we can fit one more in here. Rotate, kick through. Ugh. Whew. Gotta do it to the other side. So reset your body, reset your mind. Legs are wide. This one's not gonna feel right unless your legs are really far apart. Ready? So here comes my twist. I put my hands down. Kick the leg through. Twist. Put the hands down. Kick the leg through. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time. We have a minute. An entire minute. Where do you feel this? I feel it everywhere, you <laughs> And that's good because it is a total body exercise. Look at all the movement that's going on. All right, we got 10 seconds. Ah, I can get one more. Oh, roll it up. Next up, we're down on our hands and knees. We're doing one side at a time. Think opposites, opposite arm, opposite leg. So if it's my right leg going back, it's gonna be my left arm going out. Bird dog, tiger tap, bird dog down. So the arm and leg will lift. You will bend the back knee. Swim that left arm back to touch your toe. I call it tiger toe because in yoga, that's actually going into a tiger pose. Now, if you're watching this during the quarantine of 2020, please tell me that you've seen a few episodes of Tiger King. That's it's a pretty wild ride there. This exercise is dedicated to Joe Exotic. Next 
come. Low lunge with a twist, cross ankles to a reverse warrior. What? Okay, you might have to hit pause and watch it first. Pick one leg, okay? You're gonna go back, twist your body, hands on the floor, cross ankles. Up, twist your body, hands on the floor, cross ankles. Up, twist, up, and then cross. So that front leg, that's our power leg. That's what's gonna start talking to you here in a second. Up, look behind you, and then cross. If you want to rewind the video and watch it a couple times, just to make sure you're twisting the right way, then you're gonna do that. Oh, it's right here, y'all. It's right here. Just keep, keep that front leg nice and strong. Switch sides. All right, so there's my lunge. This is going to be our power leg right here. Inhale, reach back. Rotate. Hands on the floor. Cross angles. Warrior lunge. Rotate into a twist. And then cross angles.
And that was your last one. Oh, friends, extend your legs out long. Inhale, reach for the sky. Fold your body in half. Relax your head, relax your neck. Bring the knees into your chest. I'm gonna take it up to a standing position. Wide leg, forward fold, I'm gonna grab my elbows. Relax the head, relax your neck. If you want to, you can kind of sway side to side a little bit. Feels good on the spine. Place your hands down on the floor, inhale, push that floor away from you, straighten that back. And then exhale, once again, fold. And then you're gonna roll it up nice and slow. And if this is the end of the road for you, great job. Continue stretching, get some water, towel off, do what you gotta do. But if you want to, you could rewind and do it all again from the beginning, or you can pair it up with one of my other 15 videos. Whatever you decide to do, you're right, okay? And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.